What's up, everybody? Jason from Straight Edge Knives. It's time to unleash our inner Viking. Yes, go! I got a knife today here for you guys from Midgard Messer. Um, full disclosure on this, Midgard Messer sent me this knife to check out, and I greatly appreciate it. Um, but having said that, this is my honest review of the knife. Um, if I didn't like this thing, I wouldn't even be doing a video on it. Um, this is a pretty cool little knife, and this is something that's typically not my wheelhouse. I'm more of a big fixed blade type of guy, um, bigger folders and stuff like that. But man, this thing is surprisingly cool, um, and I and I dig it, and that's why I'm doing this video for you guys. Uh, so thanks to Midgard Messer for sending this out. Um, again, I'm not getting paid by them. I'm not being sponsored. Um, this knife wasn't isn't free for me. Um, uh, if I decide I want it, I can pay them for it, but. Um, uh, which I'm probably going to do because <laughs> it's a pretty cool little knife. Like, even though it's outside my wheelhouse, it's it's something I, it's pretty cool. And I think you'll agree once you see it. But what we have here is the Utgard Mini or Nano, depending on how you read the website. Um, but let's get into this, guys. We'll show you what comes in the box. So you got your, obviously, you got your lid here with their logo on there, Midgard Messer. And a little history, guys. Midgard Messer is a, a German-based company. They're Germany, a German knife company. Um, they just recently opened up a USA uh, sister office, if you will, um, so they can start making some uh, different folders and things like that because the knife laws in Germany, I guess, are really, there's a lot of things they can't do. And um, so there has to be like little locks and things on the knives. Uh, so they opened up a USA-based office so they can make and sell knives that don't have to have those features. Uh, if you haven't seen my Midgard USA or my Midgard Messer video from SHOT Show 2023, please go back and check it out. They explain that and, they sh and I, it shows a lot more of their knives in there. But let's get into this. So here's the box, right? One of the things that come in the box is they got this cool little uh, package and they had these at SHOT Show and I was like, Man, what is that? And they gave, me, they gave me a couple. I was like, what is this thing? And then when you open, it's funny, when you open this up, there's a condom inside. So, hey, you know, I guess... Uh, I don't know why, but it's just kind of funny. It's a fun little thing they throw in the box. Uh, you'll get this uh, kind of thank you card for buying um, with a little logo and stuff on there. And it's got like some safety instructions on the back. Um, you'll get a cool sticker. I got this cool Midgar Messer Viking sticker. Um, I don't know. That's obviously their logo up there in the corners and stuff. Um, and then you get, you know, just the other side of the box. Got a little envelope. And then you get this. <laughs> Really cool little guy. Check that out. The Midgard Messer. The Utgard. Utgard. I'm probably saying that wrong. So sorry, Midgard Messer. Uh, check this. This is a, for a little knife, this is a chunky little boy, man. Look at this thing. Look at that. Look at the pocket clip and that Thor's hammer. Uh, it's cool, man. There's a lot of really cool little details to this knife. Um, it's got, it's a front flipper. Now I have giant hands, so it's very difficult for me to do the, the whole flip it open front flip, you know? Um, I even have, uh, this is one of my only other smaller knives and this one's obviously a lot longer or, uh, well, shit, this one's almost the same length as this one open. This one, even I have a, a hard time flipping open with my, with my big old mongoloid hand. So, um, so that is one thing to note with this. Uh, if you have larger hands, it might be a little difficult to front flip this open really quickly. Uh, but this knife, I don't, isn't like made to be like a super tactical, quick flip open knife. You know, this is just a, a everyday carry. You know, let me see. there we go. Kind of got it there a little bit off camera. Check this little guy out, man. Got a cool Tonto style blade, some really nice jimping on the back. Look at the thickness on this guy for being uh, the size of it. Look at that. Got a, it's a frame lock. Um, and as cool as on the frame lock, the handle scales on the side kind of go over it. So it's almost like a hidden frame lock, uh, but you can get to it really easy. And we'll get a better view of this um, when I flip the camera angle around and do some size comparisons. But I just wanted to kind of get this out here real quick, show it to you. That's uh give you some specs here real quick. Let me open my computer back up because the uh, uh, I can't remember how to open my computer. 
There we go. So the total length on this is going to be 12 centimeters. And on their website, everything's listed in centimeters because they are a German-based company. Uh, the blade length is five centimeters. Little guy right here. Uh, you got a blade thickness of four millimeters. Uh, like I said, it's a thick blade. Uh, it's D2 steel. Um, the grip scales are G10. These little scales are G10. Um, the weight, 84 grams. It's a ball bearing blade axis. And uh, the, it's got a titanium four chamber clip. I uh, don't believe the clip is reversible. I think it is right hand only. Um, Definitely a cool, thick little knife, though. This is something I feel like would fit really good inside of your, uh, like, that little fifth pocket on your, excuse me, on your jeans. Sorry, I've been drinking some coffee. Um, put a little lanyard on here, because uh, it does have a lanyard hole right there. Um, be a cool little fifth pocket knife. Uh, you, you're out at the soccer game or something like that. got to pop open some Capri Suns for the kids. You know, who wants to pull out a little, you know, obviously you don't, you can't be, like, Hey, let's do this and then freak out the moms and stuff, right? But man, you bust this little guy out. You can be discreet with it. You just kind of roll it open. Do your Capri Sun cut open for the kids. And then we all know that there's going to be some dads that are going to be like, Hey, what is that? What is that? And then you're going to show it to them and they're going to be like, That's the shit. So uh, stand by real quick. I'm going to pause this. We're going to flip the camera angle around. We got a top down size comparison for you. And uh, talk about the knife some more. Stand by. All right, everybody, we're back. Give you a closer look at this Utgard Mini. Look at There's a lot of really cool uh, jimping on this knife. Um, definitely a lot of good milling work. And uh, these knives are, you know, designed. There's the maker's signature mark there. Um, but these are outsourced to China. Cancept Knives is making this for Midgard Messer, so you guys know, full disclosure. And they don't even try to hide that. They, it's, it's right there on their website in the description of the blade. Um, Cancept, if you don't know who they are, they're a China made company, a China company, but they are making some very, very good folding knives. Um, there's a couple of, there's a few companies out there from over there that do make really great knives, and they're one of them. Uh, and if you haven't get a chance, check out my Cancept Knives. They do for Shot Show as well. Uh, they do make some really nice stuff, and they, they knocked it out of the park, making this one for Midgard Messer. But you got a nice lock up here on the frame. You got at least, on that, it looks like at least 50% to me, lock up. Um, but it's not difficult to, to push it out of the way. One hand, close it. Then one hand open with that front flipper. If you hear some jingling, that's my dog running around with her little collar. So check that out. I do think they make some replacement g10 scales too so i think you can buy some replacement scales here and change out the colors and things like that if you'd like to do that as well but check it out i mean there's a lot of really good um, milling work and stuff on here this knife very solid very well made for such a small knife it, it's very very robust you can see the blade centering on that is perfect there's no it's perfectly centered i mean very very well made knife let's get some size comparisons in here guys so i'm going to start off with I'm going to go kind of the smallest knife, some of the smaller knives I have, and then go to the bigger. This right here is the uh, Savivi. Um, geez, I can't remember the name of this one. I think it's a Clavi. Um, it's been a minute since I busted this guy out, but check this guy out. So this is a Savivi Clavi. This would be more of what I call a gentleman's knife, if you will. The Utgard Mini is almost pretty much the same size as the handle on the, the Clavi. I hope I got that right. But, and you can definitely see there's a, the thickness differences here between the blade stock and the, and the handle stock. Um, obviously, this is going to be a very delicate knife for, you know, box cutting, things like that. You're not going to want to do anything hard with this because the thinness of the blade, you'll definitely probably snap it in half. But <clears throat> you could tear through some stuff with this as much as you can with a knife and not worry about breaking this blade. I can tell you that much. Flip it over to a folder. We got the Kaiser Comorant. Like I said, you can see like definitely a size difference here. We got the Savivi Cache. This guy down here. Obviously, you're getting the idea. This is a small knife. <laughs> That's just all there is to it. Sorry, I hit my camera there, guys. Got the Tops Knives MSF 4.0 folder. 
I mean, you can see this is like a full size thickness knife. You know what I mean? The Guard Mini, but you can see the size differences here. Let's uh, bust out the. Uh, Got to clean this guy up. It's a little dirty. Got the cold steel Espada, the medium Espada. I mean, you could almost fit the Ugar Mini inside the <laughs> inside this handle cut out right here. I mean, that's the size differences we got going on here. And uh, you know, let's just do this for fun. Let's bust out the old Kaiser Sheep Dog. I mean, look at this. You can almost hide the Mini inside the handle there. <laughs> that was pretty cool funny uh, I like it and uh, one more here we got the Civivi Bull Mastiff let's get these in better frame here for you guys sorry guys there you go so, I mean obviously again I think I've illustrated the point that this is a mini knife uh, but it is a super cool knife uh, it's very solid. I mean, there's no play back and forth in this. There's no rock back and forth. And uh, I think as far as a mini knife goes, this would be definitely one I would carry. Um, I typically wouldn't carry a mini knife uh, just because I do feel like with the, a lot of the smaller knives, the blade thickness is very thin. And um, <clears throat> sometimes, you know, you got to, you never know what you're going to run into. You might have to do some hard cutting and, if you're carrying just a, a thin mini knife, you're definitely running the risk of breaking that if you had to. Um, you never know what you're going to run into. And I think this, if you only can carry a mini knife or a nano knife, if you will, um, this is definitely going to be a rock solid option for that because it's got, I mean, I'm, I got a really big hands. And let me see if I can zoom out a little bit here. There we go. I got really big hands and I can choke up on this. I'm and I, I got a good grip. It's not going to go anywhere if I got to do some really hard little cuts here. Or you can pinch grip it and put your finger right here on the jimping. Do some fine work with it. Flip it around. I don't know if I'd be trying to punch anything too well with this because you there is a slight chance you could hit something hard and your hand could slide up onto the edge. So I would definitely be careful with that. But I mean this isn't a knife to be punching and stabbing stuff with. So it's definitely uh, EDC Viking gentleman folder, if you will. Um, something you could, again, slip in a, some slack pockets or something like that. You go into the office, you need a knife to do box cutting tasks or opening packages, but you want to be really discreet and not over intimidating. This is definitely a cool option. And it's a, just a very beautiful knife. And, you know, sometimes, you know, a lot of people are going to be like, well, that's just too much. That's just ridiculous. You know, sometimes, guys, knives are just fun to be fun. You don't have to have the super most ergonomic knife in the world. Um, sometimes it's just fun to have a really cool blade that you can pull out while you're at a barbecue, cut some limes with your buddies and stuff. And go, oh, what is that? Check that out, you know. And this is definitely one of those knives that can do that. Um, very cool. Very sharp. It came very sharp out of the box. Again, the manufacturing from Cancept on this is is excellent. Um, I have pretty much every Cancept knife that I've seen so far and got my hands on have been very well made, and this is no exception. They did an outstanding job on making these for Midgard Messer. Um, I'm trying to see here what else. Uh, there's something on here. I was going to tell you guys about. Oh, the Oot Guard. Um, just so you guys know, I'll give you a little history on it. The Oot Guard was a great outward that surrounded the Stronghold of Joiner. Um, the Stronghold was one of the battle competitions where the mighty Thor and Loki were in competition with other gods. The Oot Gardano is a small yet mighty, as the gods permit it. Just a little uh, blurb from the website there that I thought was kind of cool. Anyway, guys, there it is. The Midgard Messer Utgard Mini. Go check out their website, Midgard Messer. Uh, that's their German website. And then they have Midgard Messer USA for the USA based uh, stuff. And uh, guys, stay tuned because the next Midgard Messer knife I'm going to show you is as cool as this is. The next one is freaking awesome. 
that it's going to blow you away. It did me. And uh, I'm telling you, I'm super impressed. I'm super impressed by this little guy for what it is. I'm like, man, this is a really cool little knife. Um, I dig it. Even though it's not typically my style, this is one that I would definitely carry. So uh, stay tuned for the next video, guys. We'll be doing that one here pretty soon. There it is, guys. The Midgard Messer Utgard Mini. Check it out on their website. Uh, I think right now they were saying it, on, on their website it says um, it originally it said that they would it was a pre-order and they'll be ready for delivery in March. But right now there's 38 in stock and they are shipping. If you go to Midgard Messer USA, I'll put a link down in the description for the website for these for this knife and uh, you guys can check that out hey thanks for watching you guys stay 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 sharp and skull